All right, so this is uh, 3567 Ivanhoe. Um, if you look at the neighborhood, there's a Hebrew school at the end of the street. If you look at the, uh, the other side, there's uh, some, that's where the uh, other Ivanhoe property is. Now we'll get a tour. Two car garage, extended front way. This is your neighbor's uh, side yard. You have one just like that on the other side. Powder room. Coat closet. Laundry chute leads into the kitchen, dining room, we'll wrap around. Focus. Living room, fireplace, looks to be in a, uh, a wood fireplace. into the dining room, the kitchen, the garage accesses from the uh, kitchen. Go outside first. You have a pretty private little area. I mean, your neighbors have their, their own area. The HOA pays for this joint area here. Balcony to the upstairs master. Um, in the front yard, you can hear a little noise from the freeway, but in the back, you can't hear as much. Benefit is that you're very close to freeway access, so it's easy to get around town. Um, but you do have a little bit of ambient noise from that. This is your side patio. enters from the dining room and, and kitchen. Uh, there's a direct gas line hooked up. So you can hook your grill up. Uh, pretty cool um, building. It's very interesting brickwork and stucco, so it's very low maintenance. Um, kitchen is a little small and uh, a little bit dated. You have lots of cabinetry here. Going along the kitchen, the security system. Garage. O oversized two car garage. Um, it's actually got a heater in it. You can see hanging from the ceiling right, ceiling right there. So, heated garage. Um, dining room, wood floors in the uh, part of the kitchen and dining tile in the actual kitchen. Um, this could really be opened up and would look, really look nice. Very light. Recessed lighting through most of the house. Start by going upstairs. Just top of the stairwell, the first door leads into the master bedroom. There, we are now in the master. Here's one of the closets to the master. Vaulted ceilings. You look up. It is pretty dated. Little powder room. Toilet, shower, and tub. The master room expands the whole width of the house. You have another wood-burning fireplace. I think it's wood. Nope, that is gas. It's a gas-converted fireplace. There should be a switch somewhere around here for that. Um, vaulted ceilings. So you could have a sitting room and uh, bed and furniture. Um, you got your own patio. 
Here's the second closet. Very deep. Put the light on. Um, upstairs deck. Well, you can see the trees, and you're pretty private here. Not a bad place to uh, sit and smoke cigars. Uh, carpet could be upgraded. You can see it's just got some wear on it. There are three bedrooms total on the upstairs floor. We'll go to the next two. This leads to the next two bedrooms. Here we have the, uh, the shared bathroom, separate door with a tub shower and commode, linen closet in the hallway, um, two good sized bedrooms, both with access to the front balcony, vaulted ceilings. Don't know if you can hear it, there's a little bit of that ambient noise. The uh, condo structure that I'm zooming in on now is actually where the freeway is at. Right there, that's where the freeway is at. Um, so we're about a, about a half a mile, so you can hear a little bit of that. Here's the outdoor deck. That is the... Uh, the Hebrew Educational Center. As you might be able to tell by the menorah looking posts built into it. Um, there's the access from the other bedroom. Both bedrooms have access to the joint balcony. Um, again, recessed lighting in here, vaulted ceilings, ceiling fans. Uh, it's very nice, very open. It does look like it could use a little bit of updating. Um, laundry chute, which goes down to the laundry room, obviously. Next, downstairs. Uh, it's very open downstairs. There's no bedrooms downstairs, but you could easily separate it off if you wanted to. Pool tables, speakers sitting on a keg. Um, kind of a family theater room. Washer and dryer hookups. It's even got an extra 220, so you could probably put two dryers in here if you wanted to. Wash tub, laundry chute. Furnace room, additional storage. There are two furnaces and one water heater. There's the second furnace back there. And uh, some good storage. And one more closet slash storage room. So you could have lots and lots of storage in here. Uh, in my opinion, the assessed value on this is 420,000. It's currently priced at 355. They've uh, probably taken into consideration the condition that it is a little dated and priced it in. Um, but we'd have to look and see what other things are selling for. Very nice unit, very private, and it does uh, have a nice little open space.